Hey everyone. Today I want to go over a concept I heard recently in a podcast. I was going through one of my like indulgent podcasts, which I used I, at the moment. I'm listening to Modern Wisdom, and I've spoken about before how with politics um, I can't really get away from politics entirely. So I treat it like I would treat YouTube or Netflix or any of those things. There's like a small allotted amounts of time. Typically, when I'm like traveling somewhere, I need to listen to something to keep myself entertained. And I'll indulge myself in politics and philosophy and that sort of thing there. Recently, I've been listening to a podcast called Modern Wisdom, which is run by this guy called Chris Williamson. Now, he was previously in Love Island, so he's actually an interesting character in that sort of thing. He's been a former reality TV star who has since become weirdly this like this host of like a philosophy podcast, which is interesting to say the least. Uh, he's done a really good job, I think. He's a really good host, in my opinion, a really good interviewer. So I actually do enjoy it whenever I listen to one of his episodes. Recently, he managed to get one of the biggest like guests I think he's ever managed to grab, and that was Jordan Peterson. Um, I will say right now, I'm not a huge Jordan Peterson fan, I guess, compared to a lot of people who talk about him online and a lot of his like online fan base. I genuinely view him as a little bit too socially conservative for my particular taste, especially with regards to self-improvement, which he has made some strides into big, being like quite a big figure when it comes to the self-improvement community. Uh, he, a lot of his advice is solid. And a lot of the guys I respect like this guy as well. But yeah, he comes from a slightly too socially conservative viewpoint. I'm much more of a do what you want kind of um, guy when it comes to self-improvement, like do the things that make you happy and don't necessarily let someone else prescribe what should be what should make up that happiness because a lot of those people are trying to like you know give you good goals for the sake of like society which i don't think you should give a shit about at all so moving on he did talk about something i found really interesting and i do generally find listening to him quite interesting even though i disagree with like his some of his viewpoints but the one he was talking about was the cost of inaction i can't begin to express how like important it was to hear that like succinctly said like that because I've obviously, I understand where he's coming from and I think a lot of people who've done self-improvement understand this, but it's nice to hear it like said in such brevity. So the, you've got to consider the cost of inaction. And this is like when people are like, are oh, too scared to start their self-improvement, too scared to start um, chasing after these projects they want to complete or in their dreams and all that thing. You've got to consider like the costs that are going to be associated with going after your goals. But more importantly, you should consider yourself like, what's the cost if I just do nothing? What is the cost of doing nothing? It is, I've heard it from a lot of guys, like guys like Andy, who I respect, who said, if they had done nothing and just left, let the path they were going on continue, it would have killed them. Whether, whether how, in some way or another, they would have not survived going down the path of inaction. It's a really serious question in my mind. And... I think all of us should consider like what is the cost of me not doing the actions I need to take to achieve my goals. Because I've gone through like what my biggest, some of my biggest fears are. Like I'm afraid of being bored. I'm afraid of not fulfilling my potential and all these things. Like I know if I like if I, if I like, just like allow those things to happen, I will be incredibly unsatisfied, unhappy, and basically just mildly depressed for the rest of my life and that is what I'm desperately trying to avoid and I know tons of other guys are desperately trying to avoid that like getting trapped in a life they do not want to be living and I think it's really easy to get trapped in a life you don't want to be living and then wake up in 30 years and think what the fuck happened that's probably my biggest biggest fear is I'll end up like falling into a mediocre boring life and then wake up at 45 and yeah, just have a, just have the same, like a midlife crisis. Like I don't want to get to my midlife and have a normal midlife crisis. I want to get to my midlife and have, you know, a crisis because I've succeeded too hard. And now I have no more, like, you know, I like, no, he, he wept because there's no more, nothing else to conquer. That's the kind of midlife crisis I want to have. I don't want to have a crisis of what the fuck have I done with my life? Yeah, I don't want to wake up in 20 years and be like, be, be like full of regrets and shame that I didn't try and do something outside of the box. That's my cost of inaction. I would suggest everyone considers what is the price you pay by doing nothing? Because that's a really important point. There is a price for doing nothing. And make sure that you're like aware 
of what doing nothing might look like and maybe try and turn that into like, you know, the stick that's going to beat you along while you're chasing the carrot of the goals and dreams you actually want. All right, guys, I'm going to see you in the next video now. Peace out.